Eight minutes. How to file a flight plan from scratch in the Pilatus management software. Here we go, Captain. Something important to say. The Pilatus software is the same in the PC-12 and PC-24, so learning from one works also for the other. We will take the PC-24 for today as a reference. Before we start, please note the MFD is a touchscreen, but there is no built-in keyboard. As a result, for each of your entry, you would need to use the keyboard on the lower part of the central console. As this is not an optimal layout because you would have to always move your camera up and down, Flight Simulator gave us the opportunity to use our computer keyboard to enter some data. To enable this functionality, please click on the little keyboard icon at this location. Then each time you would click on an entry, this keyboard icon would become pink, meaning you can use your own Windows keyboard to type in. Thanks, Microsoft Flight Simulator. At least you got that right. Today we are flying from Philadelphia to Boston. The first thing we need to do is giving our plane the basic info of our trip for today. The departure airport is already in. Now click the destination section and enter our destination. In our case, it's Boston. Kilo Bravo Oscar Sierra. Then click enter to apply. It's not possible for now to enter an alternate airport. Best hope for future updates. For now, you can click the insert button. It will generate a stray path from Philly to Boston. You can now click on Activate to confirm your modifications. Quick note, you can zoom in or zoom out by pointing your mouse at the zoom function on the MFD. Maintain left click and move your mouse up and down. We can appreciate the straight line generated and confirm it via the flight plan section. Now that our plane knows where to go, he needs to know how high and fast he will reach its destination. Please click the ALTSPD tab. The default speeds are out of bounds for the performance of our aircraft. It seems like a bug where MSFS took the default value of the PC-12 and copy-pasted it to the PC-24. Today, our PC-24 will fly at Mach 0.7 above 30,000 feet, or 280 knots below 30,000 feet. In real life, the typical Philly to Boston route is at flight level 230, so we will stick to that for today. Our plane knows where to go. Our plane knows how high and fast he needs to fly. Last thing he needs to know is how much weight is inside. Please click the Fuel Weight tab. The BOW stands for Basic Operational Weight, or Empty Weight if you prefer. The default value is not accurate, so we need to change it. A PC-24 average between 10,000 to 12,000 pounds. For today, we will consider a 11,000 pound BOW. Next, the fuel of our aircraft can be read on the screen below. In our case, 2,934 pounds. Let's imagine today we have four passengers on board, and they weighed an average of 160 pounds. They also got 100 pounds of luggage. Once you selected all of these variables, you can click Compute. The computer will perform some calculation about fuel consumption and general performance of the aircraft. Now, we have all of the basic settings for our plane. Let's improve our route to follow the flight plan. The flight plan has been generated via SimBrief a free website which I really invite you to use for your journey. We will start from runway 27 left and use the Philly 3 standard departure. After ATC allowed us to follow the route, we will join Ditch, then enter the Q437 airways until HANA, then follow the Q450 airways until the Kennedy VOR. The Kennedy VOR is the transition of our Roebuck 3 arrival, which will lead us to land on runway 22 left at Boston. For more information about how to generate, read and understand a flight plan, we will release a video on that later. If you see the info bubble on the upper right corner, it means the video is available. If not, don't worry, it will come soon. At the current state, our flight plan has only two points, departure and arrival. Let's start with the standard procedure. Click on the takeoff tab, then click runway SID button. It will open a drop list where you can select your departure. In our case, it will be the Philly 3. Click Insert and then Activate. The Philly 3 departure from runway 27 left wants the pilot to turn and follow a heading of 245, just after takeoff. On the flight plan section, we now see that after passing 436 feet, the plane will turn to a heading of 267 and follow this heading until a new instruction is selected. It's exactly what we want. You might have noticed a small bug. The chart tells us 245, and the plane tells us 267. It might be a missing update from MSFS or an ARAC bug. For this tutorial, we will suppose it's 245 degrees, 
because the chart is always right. Now select our arrival by clicking the landing tab, then click the runway approach star button. We are supposed to land on runway 22 left. Our approach will be an ILS. Our arrival will be through the Roebuck 3 with a Kennedy VOR transition. As usual, click insert and verify everything is all right, then activate to confirm your modifications. Good job. We now have a standard departure and arrival, but still nothing in between. Let's dive into it. To insert waypoint in your flight plan, click the waypoint, then click amend route. It will open a dialog box where you can enter the next waypoint. In our case, it's ditch. As you can see, ditch has been added. The next waypoint is in fact an airway. To add an airway in our flight plan, just click the join button. It will open a drop list with all of the airways available from the current waypoint. In our case, we will follow Q437 until Hannah, then Q450 until Kennedy. Reviewing our flight plan, we can see there is a duplicate of the Kennedy VOR. In that case, we just need to cut the discontinuity by clicking on it, then delete waypoint. Before accepting, we can confirm the removed waypoint slashed in our flight plan. Our flight plan is now ready. You might have noticed that the navigation display is always centered on the aircraft. If we want to verify a specific section of our flight plan, we just have to click on the waypoint and click center map. The map will automatically take this waypoint as a reference. Very useful when verifying your plan before taxiing. If you want to go back to your airplane, just click the center AC. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will remove as much information as needed so we can focus on the essential, so don't worry if the navigation display is all black. Please note there is a discontinuity at the end of the arrival. That's completely normal, and you shouldn't remove it. At tail, our plane will follow indefinitely a heading of 035. This is where the air traffic controller would give us heading and altitude depending on the traffic in order to align us on final. So, if you are flying solo, you might want to go direct to Noli after tail. But if you are on an online network like VATSIM, please don't do that and keep following a heading of 035 until the ATC gives you a new instruction. By the way, if you think this knowledge is important and need more explanation, I might be able to do a video about seed and star. Please comment below if it's relevant. That sums up this tutorial about entering a flight plan in your beautiful PC24. Next video will be on MFD functionalities. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Like and share for more content on Microsoft Flight Simulator.